A huge thank you to MPB for sponsoring today's video. Holy moly guys, look at this waterfall. I mean there's full and then there's full. We've had a lot of rain recently and this waterfall, this little cove here is much, much more fuller than I was expecting it to be. So we've run into a filming problem straight off the bat where we've got a very limited space here to set up and film. It is wet, we're on an incline. So I'm not gonna film the behind the scenes of these images that I'm about to take here, just for safety reasons. So I'm gonna pop those photos in the video next. But don't worry, we've got plenty of waterfalls today to photograph. Courtney Victoria, a Nikon D750 and the aftermath of heavy rain. In typical British autumn fashion, it is raining. In fact, it hasn't stopped raining for the past two weeks. You may recognize this location as I was here during the summer months where I scouted these beautiful waterfall trails for the first time. And I've come back today because I didn't feel as though I got stuck in as much as I could have last time. I want to improve on some compositions. And this time there is a lot more water. We're starting off with the waterfall that I didn't get around to capturing last time I was here. And I'm struggling a little bit with my compositions because I don't really want to go for something that's very obvious. And by obvious, I mean just getting a shot with the entire waterfall in frame. It's tricky because everything is incredibly wet and slippery. I'm very clumsy and accent prone, so I'm trying my best not to be on these slippery rocks very close to the edge of the water where I can slip in or my gear can fall in because that has never happened to me before. I am set up a bit further downstream where I think I may have an interesting composition. Instead of getting the whole of this impressive cascade in frame, we're just getting a glimpse of it as though we're peering around a corner. I think it leaves it a little more to the imagination. I'm playing around with both horizontal and vertical compositions and also going wide and cropping quite close as I'm really not sure where to position some of the elements in this scene. I quite like these trees here and partic in particular this branch that's going over the top there. If I frame wide then I get this empty space over here and then I also get these branches to my left also sort of creeping into shot. I feel like they're quite distracting or sort of pointless elements. It doesn't really add anything necessarily to the scene. But I think we're just going to grab a couple of shots and see how they turn out. I can't believe how abundant these waterfalls are compared to the last time I was here. The spray coming off them is absolutely insane. I think it's getting me wetter than the actual rain is. I'm gonna take a shot here, but there's no real sort of focal point or subject interest really in the image. 
it is just a jumble of water coming down these rocks towards the camera. It is just going to be a mess of water, but I'm really curious to know how it would turn out. So I'm going to grab a shot and see. I think it could be either really interesting or just an absolute mess of an image, but <laughs> if you don't try, you don't know. I have to say, I don't mind a bit of rain, but this constant drizzle is a bit miserable. <laughs> I'm gonna go and find a semi-dry spot just to wipe down all my gear and have some lunch. So in the meantime, I'm gonna hand you over to Dry Courtney, who has a quick message about today's sponsor. I was very surprised and grateful when MPB reached out and offered to sponsor today's video, as it's the platform that I recently used to purchase my Nikon D750 and a 24 to 120 mm lens from to replace my broken gear. For those who don't know, MPB is the place to go to to buy, sell and trade in used photo and video kit. They have a fast turnaround, recirculating more than 350,000 items of used kit a year. I lost out on three D750 bodies because I was too slow in purchasing them, and it turns out that this is still a very popular camera. I was surprised at how brand new my D750 looks and feels, seeing as you can't buy this camera brand new anymore. You know that you're safe buying from MPB as all used kit is tested and approved before selling and comes with a six month warranty. Buying and trading a used kit minimizes electronic waste and is a great sustainable option. So if you have any used photography kit lying around that you don't use, or you're looking to add some kit to your camera bag, then I highly recommend MPB as the place to go. This is my favorite waterfall on this trail here and it's so interesting to see it so full and abundant with water. Last time I was here I could get across this stream and explore compositions from there but we are just stuck to this side unless I want to go swimming. I wanted to experiment with a very simple shot of just the waterfall and the pool of water beneath it using a ND filter for a long exposure. Now usually I'm not into using ND filters or extremely long exposures for this type of photography, usually because a lot of the time it's not necessary. When you use an ND filter to slow your shutter speed down, what you're doing is you're capturing that cycle, that movement of water. Fast moving water like this, you really don't have to have a very slow shutter speed in order to capture that cycle, that movement. But notice how the foam on the surface of this water is moving much slower than the cascade, the waterfall itself. So in order to capture a few cycles of this foam moving around, I will have to use a long exposure and an ND filter, but it is going to render that cascade behind just absolute cotton wool, sort of cloudy, soft, no texture, which I absolutely hate. But we're going to experiment and see how it turns out anyway. No, it, it doesn't, it's not my, it's not my cup of tea. It's really not my cup of tea. Worth a try. I do prefer coffee. Now I tried a long exposure here with an ND filter because at this point of the afternoon, and yes, it is mid afternoon here, although it looks as though the sun has gone down or is going down, the conditions and the location were no longer meshing together for me. It didn't matter if I didn't use filters or had a high ISO, I just couldn't get 
the shutter speed that I wanted, a fast enough shutter speed that suited my style of photography and the fast flowing water in this scene. I wasn't ready to give in to the dark rain clouds, but super long exposures for waterfall photography is not my style, so we're going to forget that this image ever happened. The beautiful thing about waterfall photography is that there is no right or wrong shutter speed. It's completely up to you and it depends on your vision and your style. I prefer the fast of the slow or the slow of the fast shutter speed, so a little softness but still retaining some texture. I couldn't help but be a bit disappointed on the journey home as it felt as though with each waterfall I visited, the wetter everything became, the darker the skies were and the less productive I was being. But it's okay. I read the sign at the beginning of this trail that says that this location has a Welsh myth attached to it where a trainee monk who was treated cruelly for being lazy ran away from his abbey and was found by the fairy folk who took him to their world. <laughs> Rumour has it the entrance to this kingdom is somewhere on the banks of this trail, so uh, yes, we're going to go back and uh, find the entrance to the fairy kingdom. <laughs> Another thank you to MPB for being our very first channel sponsor, and I think I've taken up enough of your time today, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.